Hello, jelly plate lovers. I have here my pan pastels, but you can also uh, try with other soft pastels. I'm sure it works fine too. But I was wondering what we could do with this on the jelly plate. So I picked out two um, stencils. And the good thing about this technique is that you won't uh, mess up your stencils. You don't have to clean them afterwards. They're staying clean, so that's nice. So what we're going to do is draw first um, a line, uh, pencil, pencil here, about the size of the jelly plate, so that we're sure that the surface is big enough to cover the old gel plate. And I'm going to start with the blue and the turquoise. I'm just going to, okay, so I'm just going to put on the blue and the turquoise later on in a random way. You can do it with your fingers, but I prefer doing it this way. So really random, filling up the surface that's corresponding to the size of your jelly plate on the paper. I worked out this technique because I noticed that working right away with the pen pastel on the jelly plate is not easy and doesn't work well. So. It's, this is what I found as a solution. I'm going to shake this powder off in my bin. There we go. And then I'm going to fill the rest with the other color. You can blend it a little bit. And pastels do blend very well when you do uh, drawings too. It's a really nice product, but it's rather expensive. So you're really welcome to try it with cheaper soft pastels. Okay. You know, I uh, rarely speed up videos, so you have to bear with me and watch it through the whole process. But the rest, this is the longest step. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to take that off again. Okay, now then, you put the stencil on the jelly plate this way and then you put the paper on top and you give it a good rub depending on the size of the holes in your stencil you need to insist a little bit more these are pretty small holes so I push pretty hard so that the pen pastel goes through the holes of the stencil onto the jelly plate. It, this should do it and this is how my paper looks but we are this, this is not what uh, going to we're going to use and this is what the jelly plate looks right now you see now I'm going to take the red and I'm not going to make an as big surface as for the blues I'm just going to make a strip that is about the 
same size as this, but there. Okay. Red. Then you can use the same stencil, but I'm going to use another stencil. So again, I'm going to put the stencil on the jelly plate and then shaking the powder off and um, putting the red strip on top. Give it a good rub again. There we go. There it is. Okay. I should put the white paper underneath so that you guys can see what's going on on the jelly plate. There. So now we're going to uh, lift this up and if, as you can see the stencils are clean. There's nothing to, to clean so hmm. Now I'm going to pick this up with a um, with a peach color, so a light color. This is really um, cheap acrylic paint. That I'm going to roll over. You don't need to worry, the pen pastels stick to the plate. They're not going to move. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on. Butterfly print on the other side um, doesn't matter, but it's it's good. It's just good good paper. And I'm going to leave this on for like one or two minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to clean my brayer. There. And then, well, let's pick up the corner. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to pull up the print and there it is. Okay. So you can go um, a lot of ways with, with this print. I've made another one to try the technique out. Also with the same colors, can you see both? Yes, and you can. Well, you can just um, have fun with it. It's just to show that pan pastels really stick well to the jelly plate. But there is something else that you need to know. I'm going to show you right away. That's um, about the red color, especially. I noticed that the red color is really sticky and if you want to clean your jelly plate well baby wipes are put are are taking up the are cleaning up the blue colors blue and turquoise but the red you see nothing and that's why you need all, always for the jelly plate for a thorough cleaning white mineral oil so if you have real sticky colors it it won't uh, interfere with your next prints but it's not nice to work on a jelly plate that looks like this so when you put on the mineral mineral oil it comes off without any problem there is the red okay so that's a good trick to to know when you have um, really strong colors that you cannot get rid of with just a baby wipe or with other soap. So, I hope you liked this video. And also, what I was going to ask you, I'm going to go on a little bit by with this one while I'm explaining uh, another thing. Now, I am a full-time artist artist and an art therapist 
and um, as you all I think can imagine it's not very easy to make a living out of being an artist so if you would like to support my art and um, give me the opportunity to make more videos for you guys then please please uh, join me on my patreon page where you can find a lot of videos about art journaling and about jelly plate printing and the two combined I know most of the videos are in French but in the last uh, I think 10 or 20 videos maybe I um, I speak English too for the most important steps or it's subtitled in English and you just need to to look for the tag that says English friendly and then you are sure that you are finding all the videos that are uh, partly in English and of course even if there's a lot of French the images speak for themselves so it's only five dollars a month and you can join whenever you like you have immediate access to I think it's now 40 videos but I'm putting on uh, new videos every week so you have access access to them right away and you can leave the patreon page every month whenever you you like so if you wanna help me find my way in the artistic world please join me on patreon thank you for watching and see you next time bye